Hello, my name is Shane Wooldridge. My title is Principal Mechanical Engineer. I'm with ETS Lingren. ETS Lingren, uh, we actually design radio frequency equipment as systems. Uh, these include the chambers, the antennas, and we offer our customers a complete solution. When I started here at ETS, um, we initially just had SOLIDWORKS on our, on our main machines and we would actually do the designs in the engineering department. Um, we'd do the, the models, the assemblies and the drawings and then we would hand over and make copies of everything and give it to planning and manufacturing. Of course that was a long tedious process and we were actually wasting a bunch of paper. Um, so we had to evaluate and finding a new software package that could meet our needs uh, and I think most of our goals was to uh, allow manufacturing to um, be able to view our drawings as well as our assemblies. Well another thing we were looking at is actually how to improve and document our process as a whole. We wanted to make every facet of our design process be documented. When we received the vault, we had this idea of how we wanted to communicate. So the individuals at, at Go Engineer came in, we uh, talked about it, we actually put it up on a board and we scribbled it out and did a workflow. Um, and by the end of the day, we had a workflow that was actually continuing. So this is our uh, workflow that we have here at ETS Lingren. So initially the project manager gets a, uh, what's called an engineering project order. He initiates the EPO, and this is a special design or something like that the customer actually requires. Um, from that standpoint, um, it goes to the VP of Engineering, and if the VP of Engineering uh, is satisfied with all the specifications and all that good stuff, he forwards it to the Mechanical Engineering Manager, and then from that standpoint, he can either go from the Engineering Manager to the Technical Writing or the Electrical Engineer. Once that's determined, it goes to the Mechanical Engineering Manager and then goes to the uh, mechanical engineer and then the mechanical engineer will do the, his work in process that's doing the drawings doing the models doing the assemblies uh, making sure everything fits form fit and function and then it goes into work in process and so then we can also put on hold if we want to like we have to wait on a customer approval drawing or not and once that's approved then it can go back into work in process and then once that's completed um, it goes into manufacturing and it goes into completed state and that's really our process of uh, our EPO process here at ETS Lingering.